What's up everyone? Welcome to another week of Amateur Hour. This week I'm on another adventure. I'm in Carlsbad, California at the TaylorMade Kingdom. I'm gonna go inside of their HQ and check it out. TaylorMade does it right. Of course, they have a Nelly Corda bag right when you walk in. I mean, this is such a cool feature that you have all the tour players. You have Nelly Corda, Tiger Woods, and also this broken down, the Stealth 2, being able to get into it. And maybe not my favorite part, but still beautiful, still beautiful, the putters. We're gonna head to the back and see how all of this is made. Let's go. What an amazing part of TaylorMade HQ is that this is where all of the tour players' clubs are made. They have a whole section for all of the players, so they're obviously treated like king and queens around here. This is a behind the scenes look of how your favorite tailor-made clubs are made. Magic is happening, super cool to see everything from the ground up. We epoxy the sleeve to the shaft, and normally epoxy takes 24 hours to cure. Uh, we have curing cells that bake it right around 350 degrees, so it takes two and a half minutes for it to be completely set up and ready to go. And Hannah can take this thing right back out in about five minutes and hit it if she wants to. So it takes longer for the grip to dry than it is for the epoxy to dry. That's so cool. Yeah, this was developed from our tour van. Um, tour players are switching out shafts all the time, want to try different things, and uh, we had to find a quick way to build clubs and be hittable in a short amount of time. Um. So, Hannah's driver is just about done. We're gonna put a head on it. We'll measure this and cut it to the proper length and then put a grip on it. You'll be ready to go. Heck yeah. You are gonna rip this. This is I'm cool. I'm so excited. Yeah, I love those grips. I really do. So this is where, as well, the tour players go. Ali gave us a little inside scoop saying that when these shades are down, means that someone special is here. Loving the privacy. How does it feel to have your name next to Tiger? Crazy. I say this every time. This is only my second time here, but it doesn't change. The excitement doesn't change for your name being right next to Tiger Woods, no matter what. It's so cool. Do such a good job. Well, I'm very curious to see um, how my game or swing has progressed because it's definitely changed and I don't know if it's for the better or the worse. I was watching okay. the video from last year and I was like, oh, yeah. had a few things that were positive about my swing, yeah. but now there's a few things that I think I've changed. I'm trying to okay. always continue. Let's go to check it out and get a lot of speed. Let's yeah. go hit some balls and get loose. Okay, and then cool. we'll go through the bag and figure it out. Awesome. Thank you. Hi everyone. I have the opportunity to be here at the TaylorMade Kingdom here with Greg. Greg's going to help me out, get some potentially new clubs, unsure. We're gonna take a look at my specs from last year and he's gonna kinda check out and see uh, if I progress enough or not to change it or stay the same. Golf is about understanding, right? And then we, you understand your golf swing and then we build a golf club around the tendencies that we need to fix. Mm -hmm. So if I could build you a set of irons that didn't do one thing, what would it be? Didn't go left, didn't go right, didn't go too low, didn't go too high. I just hit them more solid. Hit them more solid. I mean, contact's important. Contact is where okay. I really struggle. Okay. Um, I mean, it's obviously a me thing, but yeah, if the clubs could do the work for me, it's it's a more more consistent contact. Let's hit a couple seven irons. I'm gonna build you some stuff. So I think we can make a pretty good impact here pretty quick. So what are we doing here? Custom building a club for it. Yeah. So we've got just maybe a little bit lighter shaft. It'll be a little easier for her to move. Um, we're we'll start there anyway, and we'll try some different lengths. It's a pretty heavy golf club, and her shot pattern here on Trackman is showing me that we're kind of inconsistent with the strike. This is the same head you're playing. Okay, love. It's a little lighter shaft. Okay. It's gonna flex a little more. We're just gonna try it and see. Okay, same cool. length, same lie. That's a little quick, but yeah. 
That sounded good. So part of this process is feedback from you. You're the you're the one that's got the tool in their hand and they got to tell me, I hate this, I like this. It feels lighter, it feels more flexible. Get this out of my hand. What Don't are you, you worry, I'm the most honest person you'll ever I love meet. It. Let it rip. Sometimes it gets me in trouble, Greg. That's great. I'll be honest, this feels a little better. Okay. Just because it kind of assists me more when I mess up. So it's like, okay, I'm still hitting kind of the same shots, but I'm making better contact with the ball. Okay. And it's going further. Your last year set we fit you for is two degrees weak. This is standard. And one of the challenges you had last year was you were trapping it and hard, it's hard to get it in the air, which is why we made it weaker to make it go in the air. You're stronger, your golf swing's better and it's jumping in the air and flying like crazy. It's landing at a very steep ascent angle, so 6,000 RPMs with 47 degree landing angle is gonna stop on pretty much any green, whether it's concrete or not. So this is really good. And I think the shaft is actually kicking a little more for you I and like helping it, yeah. you hit it. Yeah, so we're gonna hit a few more here. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna try some different shafts. We're gonna try some different lengths too, but that is fantastic. I had a standard men's length last year, mm -hmm. I think. Um, would you go shorter or? That's a standard men's, same yep. length as you're, what you're playing. Mm -hmm. I brought some half inch short okay. just to see if it helps. I don't think we need longer for speed, but we need maybe standard length or even shorter just so we can find the face every time. Yes. Just to help you. Agreed, yeah. So we'll try it. We'll get there. So it struck well, but still turned. Standard length. So I just went from half inch short to standard length. And what did we see? Inconsistency, miss hitting. I just didn't like it. Okay, I'm gonna go get a couple more half inch short shafts. Yeah. So we found out that my clubs were too long. I it's actually insane. I was hitting a P770 club face, which is smaller and has less cavity on the back, and I still hit the ball well just because of a different shaft length. And this is a P790. Normally, it's probably easier to hit, I think, and I still didn't hit them well. We've decided that we like a shorter um, shaft. So when now you're changing the club face, your initial club face was the P770s. You're playing P790s weak, two degrees weak, which is essentially the same loft, very similar to 770. Okay. 770 is a little thinner sole. So okay. I thought maybe it would go into the ground a little better for you. Not so much. I mean, you're a very shallow attack angle. So actually, you're probably not going to stick it. I could give you the MB, the blade, the really thin one, and it probably won't go on the ground as much. Hmm. So we're going to go back to 790 at standard length, or start, sorry, standard loft, okay. and standard lie. Essentially, kind of what you're playing now, and just see. Okay, first shot out of the gate, where was it in the face? Uh, sorry, uh, the ball flushed. or the release? You flushed oh, it, yeah. right? I was Dead like, center solid. Yeah. Good. Love. Oh my gosh. Okay, we don't like the shot where it's going, but the solidness yeah. is attributed to that length. Yeah. You can be as aggressive if you, with, as Which you want I with Which I love. Yeah, just beat on it. I be can't you. tell you. That's your personality, attack, right? Attack. Yeah, 100%. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing that people can it's meet me for fantastic. 10 minutes and be like, you're really aggressive. Golf will show me everybody's personality. Spend four hours with somebody on the golf course, you'll know everything about them. So she's in the high 70s with a seven iron for, for club head speed, which is says it either need to give her a light stiff or kind of a beefy regular flex. Uh, and that beefy regular flex is the MMT. Yeah. And we're gonna try a couple more just to confirm, but yeah, you're kind of a tweener that way. <laughs> that feels good though, doesn't it? It feels so much better. So I even miss hit that and it still went dead Pretty straight. Pretty good, yeah. That's murder, isn't it? That is really cool. It's yeah. not hard to convince you that these two circles right here are much tighter and really good distance. One shaft goes farther, but they're both equally tight. Okay, cool. So this last one you were hitting is our is our money. Okay. It's actually stiff. Okay. Flex. Um, so why, why would you put- Half inch short, because you're strong you? enough. You're plenty strong at 81 miles an hour on some of those. High 70s, low 80s. Yeah. So it, I don't have a very like... It's gonna, as you get better and stronger, yeah. because your golf swing gets better, it's gonna stay with you. 
perfect. That half inch length is just helping you hit it in the middle of the face every time. Yes, you're and correct. We can't argue with each other, right? It's no. the facts. I mean, you hit all, whatever you gave me. You could give me balls a, of that dead center right in the middle and all on top of each other. You could give me a Walmart shaft and I wouldn't even know. Not that you're doing that. It's obviously gonna be amazing, but we you know what I mean. Walmart shafts. Whatever. What is the what is the shaft gonna be? Steel fiber. Okay. Yeah, graphite. It's a kind of a steel and graphite combo. So just as a comparison, what I was hitting before and what I'm hitting now. It's a half inch shorter. Let's hit driver. You've been waiting for this all day. So we gave you a high lofted driver. Yeah. Because you needed it. Last year you were down on top of it. Didn't get it in the air very well. That launched at 13 with 4,000 RPMs. And in the grand scope with 141 ball speed, you're faster than you were last year. You were like 140, so we're a little faster. <laughs> and we're gonna make you faster today, but that's going nowhere for how much speed you have. I know. So we got to take some loft off. We got to get a shaft. Because I'm like, a little more. this doesn't make sense. Because I look, I looked at that and I go, that ball is roped. Yeah. And then I go out there. I'm like, there's no way it can only go that far. This number right here. Yeah. It's killing you. The spin this rate. This is not. This is wouldn't be too bad. 13 is not too high. I mean, that's what Rory launches it at when he wants to really nuke one. But he's not going to spin at 4,000. Oh my God, I'm so excited to see. Let me go get some stuff for you. Okay. I was curious and wondering if it would change. And I was honestly thinking, you know, because I'm pretty hard on myself, everyone knows, that I wasn't probably going to change a lot, but he thinks that I've, I've changed a good amount. Where does driver rank among favorite clubs in your bag? Number one, I freaking love the driver. I mean, you can't see, obviously, because it's so bright back there, you wouldn't even be able to see where the ball went, but I hit that ball so well. And I guess the spin rate is what's making it not carry as far. I don't know, these are all things I'm learning, and I'm gonna ask him that when he comes back. This is what geeks me out. This is gonna be fun. Okay, wait, so question, when you're gone, I thought I was looking at this. So is my spin rate not making it carry as far? Yeah, so that spin is high launch, 13 is pretty high, and it's spinning like crazy. So it's going up and coming straight down and not going anywhere. Uh, I'm so excited. Yeah, so just so we have a reference, 141 ball speed's good. Okay. Really good, I bet you we find more speed. Uh, lower loft's gonna increase more speed. You're carrying it 218 and 231. That's our baseline. That's what your gamer did. Hit as good as you can hit it, right? That was that a was, really... Yeah, it was kill. Um, tack angle's amazing. Landing angle's too steep. We already know that from these numbers. So we're going to chase all this stuff and make it better. This is why I love it here because, one, they put your name right here and you feel so special. But two, it's just like making us better. You're making... And I mean, look at this. It's a kingdom. It's so beautiful. This year's driver is we have a lighter face carbon crown around the ring, it's way more forgiving. So the big difference is on off-center hits, ball speed stays up and doesn't get diminished from miss hits. So forgiveness literally is- Forgiveness, I was gonna say that. That came from what this driver does. The more you miss it, the farther it goes. It's crazy. So um, the other thing we've changed a lot is this plus head is much lower spinning. Okay. So for somebody that's spinning at 4,000 with this driver, I give you this, the first shot will instantly see lower spin. Okay. We just gotta get the launch conditions and the shaft and everything else right. But this is gonna be a cool product. You're gonna love it. Okay, I'm excited. Love. Last year it was what? Negative one last year. Okay. Five degrees up. So that's a six degree difference in how you- so Strike ball. You show up with a 12 degree driver, hitting five degrees up on it, not gonna work. Yeah. Hitting down on it and not presenting any loft to it, we need 12 degrees. Mm -hmm. That's how much you've changed in 12 months. And that's for the better. Okay, I was gonna, awesome. I'm asking, I'm like, uh, is that for good or bad? You can get it in the air and it looks pretty. Yeah. It's just not effective, right? Not effective. I'm like, how the heck does this not go further? I need far -giveness. So because you hit up on it, we're down to nine degree head from 12 to nine. Wow. This is so fun. <laughs> I love this. I'm glad you Thank like you. it. What's you're true? a unique animal. Man, you're fascinating. What, why am I, so why am I a unique animal? Because you, you, you actually just present so much lofted impact. It's launched at 18 degrees, 2600. So we get that launch down to 12. That thing's going to go 260. <laughs> 93 miles an hour, 37 ball speed. Good. Love okay, that. guys. Things are happening here. If you wanted to sit, hit a top spin forehand with a pickleball racket, you'd just do this, right? Yeah. 
you shut the face down and kind of put topspin on it. You want me to do that? If you did that with the driver, we'd be dangerous. You want me to do that? Sure. At six degrees up? Yes, please. Okay, I'll try. So good. That felt good. You actually listen really well. Thank you. That's a night. That's 96 miles an hour of club head speed. Which is? And how tall are you? Five six. Five two. Five six. Five two. I wish nothing. I was five two. Twelve degrees, twenty two hundred. You carried it farther than you were total distance with your driver, and you hit it two sixty. Heck yeah, pickable golf. <laughs> yeah, so the new Hannah is pretty cool because last year's Hannah hit down on it. Okay. Took all the loft off it. We had to give you lots of loft. We had two degree weak irons. We had a twelve degree driver. You've changed massively in how you present the golf club to the ball. You're stronger, you better move at it. So this year's golf clubs are very different. Yay. We're playing a nine degree plus driver. Uh, 790 is the same iron you're playing, but mm -hmm. it's standard uh, lie or standard loft, I mean, instead of two degrees weak. You hit the ball straight up in the air. You're attacking it with a driver is like five to six degrees up on it, which okay. means you're presenting loft to it. We worked on your move a little bit, yeah. help you release it. Um, you didn't have a three wood before because you couldn't get it in the air. Now we have a three wood and a five wood. So that's good. That, that's launching in the air. We worked on wedges. We're gonna make them a half inch shorter just like we're gonna do with your irons because okay. you control it, hit it in the face more often with a shorter golf club. We went with graphite. Okay, yeah. We're gonna do 790 blacks because you think that's super cool. Yes, with, wait, and, I wanna do it with a green okay, well, color. Okay, we gotta talk about that. So, <laughs> and then we got a black uh, shaft. It's a half inch short. We're gonna make okay. the wedges with the same. Uh, we're gonna make black headed wedges. So you want mm -hmm. that? Or you want the chrome wedges? These are life decisions. Here. Black. I want everything just everything blacked out. Yes. Love it. Yes. Um, so we'll make the wedges in the same specs as the and irons. Like with my golf bag, it's like. Yeah, imagine. and then we're gonna go in the putter lab here and figure out what's going on with your putter. Okay, let's, that's let's, a, that, let's go that do that. That can it. be a game changer if we can putt better. We have transitioned to the putting lab. I'm excited, but also nervous, because in about four seconds after I hit this putt, you're gonna realize why okay, we'll see I don't what you score do. well. Right in the middle of the cup there, in the middle, middle of the hole. And... Okay, well, I normally hit it harder than that. So watch down here in the left corner, see where my mouse is? Watch this ball as you hit it. Do you see it fly in the air and then how it's hopping? Oh my goodness. So you can see right here, the golf ball's in the air. No. And it bounces. No. And it bounces and it's still bouncing. So you launched it at six degrees of launch. Uh -huh. One and a half to three max is ideal. And it has 34 degrees of backspin. So we're gonna, we're gonna dive deep into this and we have to be careful because I need to know how much you wanna know because there's a little bit of technique involved here and probably a putter fitting as well. I would know, I wanna know everything that's gonna be, help me become a better putter. Yeah, so much like you do in your golf swing, you present a lot of loft to the putter. Okay. We just got done with it out there on the range. So that the best putters on the PGA Tour will launch it around a one and a half degrees, you're at six. So you're, it's jumping in the air and the more this thing bounces and doesn't have top spin, more every little imperfection in the green will yep. kick it off line and you yep. won't make putts. See? What? The bounce? It literally hops six times. Okay, it's better, right? Well, it's better in one way. It's better in that we have some top spin on it mm -hmm. instead of backspin, but we still launched it at almost six degrees. Is that my line? Yeah. That's what my putter was doing? This way I literally line. did a circle. Yeah, so this is the backstroke. We can. This is the forward stroke. No, yeah, but I, finishes over here. I should be going in the same line. Yeah, so everything here tells me it's gonna go left, right? Because I'm going over it, got it. Get those hands in a good neutral spot and keep the left hand going towards the hole through impact. Good, perfect. Hannah Cook, ladies and gentlemen, he's got to hit it. You take it back. And we talked about the left hand moving the putter head forward. Mm, almost, right? Mm -hmm. Still pretty good. It's a little behind the line. 
So if we look at it from above, yeah. the big loop you had a couple strokes ago, gone. It's better. 100% better. That is dead center in the middle of the cup. You just didn't hit it hard enough. Yeah, because I'm but awkward with when we get back. this thing figured out, we're gonna go back to Quintic and the ball that was looking like a basketball is gonna start rolling really good. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh, that's so good. So good. Heck yeah, Dude, that was great. You're a good putter. You are just doing it the wrong way. Okay. So what we worked on was shaft angle, not having it back, but having it neutral. Okay. And then just keeping your left hand leading towards the hole, which keeps the face square at your target where you're aiming, and you started making putts. Yeah. And you became a really good putter pretty quickly, just by understanding how you're using the putter. Exactly, so basically what we did was understanding how to use pop the putter that I have properly. It was your setup. Setup, okay. More than anything, and then once we got the setup correctly, as long as you kept your hands moving with the putter head towards the hole, you kept it square and made everything. Perfect. Well, so other than a short length adjustment, you're in pretty good shape with the putter. Okay. Well, I'm on the I'm on the road to being a better putter after I think the length adjustment, you know, because this is the length I'd be using. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to be quite a bit shorter. Yeah. I think this is going to do some good things for me. Put you in a better position. Get your hands in the right spot. You'll start making more putts. Stay tuned. Well, that's all for today, folks. Thank you so much to Greg and the TaylorMade Kingdom for having me. I'm so excited to try my new clubs out.